Uh, Charlie. Yes, sir. Name one thing on your opponent's platform that you support and why. Think about this for a minute. What? What I uh, support? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. The only thing I I can say that I, and, and I don't know if it's part of their platform or not, but uh, they do have concerts in the park in the summer, and I think that's a nice touch. I really do. That's uh, that's the only thing that I would like to see continued. Of all the things going on in village government and in the community now, that's the only thing you'd like to see continue. Well, I think the uh yeah, I guess that's about it. Debbie? Uh, yes. I, um, I uh, would like to respond because th there are a lot of issues uh, on the platform, however, they're uh, on the opponent's platform. However, most of them are conveyed in a negative tone. Uh, I think to move a village forward, uh, you need to establish goals in a positive mindset. Uh, one of the things uh, that I, I agree with uh, and, and that have been pressing uh, within our community uh, for several years um, is our pavement management. And uh, we have had pavement management uh, programs put together, as I said a little earlier, I believe, uh, that uh, you know the funds are just not always available with with MFT with our motor fuel tax that we get. I'm going to interrupt for just a second, mm -hmm. just so I'm clear with the answer. When you say pavement management, you mean improve uh, Road. re our roads. Okay. Yes. Just um, sure. Yeah. Now, just resurfacing the roads, um, managing the roads. Uh, we do a lot of spot checks. Uh, we only take a, a certain portion of the community. Uh, each year uh, to do total resurfacing, but the pavement management funds, which is our motor, mo motor fuel tax, I'm missing water now, sorry, um, is, is uh, adjusted by our population. Uh, and I don't know the actual uh, percentage um, of, of what we get per capita, but that's what that number is based off of. So it's, it's very small. And one of my goals has always been uh, in, in increasing the retail sales tax revenue in our commercial district is taking chunks of that money and investing it into our roads. Uh, this year we were able to do that. Our retail sales tax uh, is just over $100,000 conservatively uh, above what we projected in last year's budget. And we are going to allocate that money, I'm hoping the budget passes to allocate that money, uh, toward uh, road improvements. And Burnett Road is where we're going to start. Another um, major area uh, is Hale Lane in Fox River Shores. Uh, that development was built in the late 90s. Uh, and that road uh, is, is very, very well traveled. It's the main artery into a uh, very large section of our community. What's the name of that road again? Uh, Hale Lane in Fox River Shores. It's on the McHenry County side. So, so that is an issue I believe that concerns all of our residents and one that we know we have to address. Uh, however, we were at a standstill with the money that we had available to us and now that our retail sales tax has increased, uh, we are going to hopefully earmark that money uh, toward road improvements and continue to do so as as that uh, that pot grows. Mm -hmm. 